Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a pretty cool video going over the new Figma integration with Microsoft Power Apps. If you don't know what Figma is, it's a free wireframing and graphics editor used for prototype and software design. And the integration with Power Apps essentially allows you to build out all of your screens ahead of time in Figma and then import them as a brand new app. So I think this feature is really cool for a number of reasons, but some of the main ones are that uh, you can create a much more pixel perfect looking app as the Figma editor is much more rigorous than Power App Studio. Another cool feature is that you can have multiple people working in the Figma editor at once building out these screens. So it's a really cool collaboration tool when you're kind of designing the UI and UX of your Power App. And I think by far the coolest part of this feature is the overall help it's going to bring to those more complex projects, projects that might have 15 plus screens. Uh, being able to build it all out ahead of time uh, in Figma and then just importing it in as a new app is going to be a huge, huge help. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So where we're going to start is the Power Apps home screen. Uh, you can see that we have two new options down here. We have from Image, which I will probably be making a video on soon. But then we have this Figma option. Um, so if we click on this, it's going to want an app name a link to a Figma page or frame, and then a Figma personal access token. And what we're gonna walk through today is setting that up and then importing an app that we build. So right down here, if you take a look, it says design an app using our Figma UI kit. So if you click on this, this is gonna open up the Figma um, UI kit from Microsoft. And it essentially has all of the assets that we're going to be using um, in this kit. So with this kit comes some extensive documentation from Microsoft. Uh, we're not gonna get into all of it today, it's probably about a five to 10 minute read through. So I certainly urge anyone that's gonna start with this process to go over and read this as it does go over some do's and don'ts um, of how to use this kit effectively. I do wanna make a note of some stuff that can't be used yet. Uh, charts, galleries, icons, shapes, and tables are not supported. Um, this feature is still in preview. I'm certain that down the road they're gonna add this. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna go through all the documentation here. Uh, and we're just kind of going to hop into building a quick app in Figma. So in order to do this, again, like I said, you're going to need a Figma account um, and just click duplicate up here and this will pop open a new window. So once that finally loads, we're going to have the UI kit open in Figma so we can start taking a look and playing around with stuff. Um, another thing to note is you're going to need to install this font here uh, under the read this first page. Uh, if you're on Mac, it's just going to install the Figma agent. Once you have that set up, you're good to go. So we're not gonna get into Figma itself a lot today as it's just kind of showing the integration between the two. Uh, I certainly will have some links in the description on some Figma tutorials, stuff like that. And if you have any questions, please reach out in the comments. Um, also, another thing to note is they have a sample app here, which is pretty cool as it kind of uses all the different components, including a scrollable screen and a form. Uh, but we are going to make our own. And to do that, you're gonna wanna come up here to the left and click new, so add a new page. And we'll just call this test app. So now that we have our page built out, we're ready to put some screens on it. Uh, and to do that, we're going to want to go to the asset section and under local components, uh, this is where you'll click either phone or tablet. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to do a phone build. Um, but this is where you'd go to do a tablet build. We click on phone and under screen, we're going to drag a couple of these onto the canvas. Now that we have the screens down in order to allow assets to be able to go on top of them, we're going to need to first detach them. So to do that, you're gonna to wanna to right click on the screen and click detach instance. And we'll do that on both. And then up on the top left now, we can rename these screens and this will be the name that they'll go into the app as. So we'll just say login screen and then we'll say home screen. So now we're about ready to add some assets to the screen. First, we're just gonna delete these labels here. Uh, and you can see on our left hand side is where all of our assets are. So we'll start by dragging a button down on the screen uh, I'm centering that um, and then we can go down and add a label and we'll do the same with the text input. So now we have some stuff on the screen. I'm going to do a little work off camera, add some stuff to the app, and then we will get into how to actually make this into a power app. So I've added some stuff to the app. I've added username, text field, password, uh, and then as well as some other assets, date picker, timer, rich text. Uh, and we're about ready to add this thing to Power Apps. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do, since this is a page and with multiple screens, we're gonna wanna go to the um, page up here called Test App and right click on that. And we're gonna say copy link to page. And we'll go back to Power Apps. And up in here where it says link to Figma page or frame, we're just gonna paste that in. Um, we'll give the app name uh, test Figma app 
and make sure that phone is selected, otherwise it's gonna import all weird. Uh, and the next thing we need to do is generate a Figma personal access token. Um, so we're gonna go back to Figma. So we're back in Figma and to do the access token, if you're in the web browser, you're gonna to wanna to go up to the left and click back to files. Uh, and then up here on the right, uh, under your user account, you're gonna to wanna to click um, settings and you wanna scroll down to personal access tokens and then you'll click and add a description. We'll just say YouTube and then click enter. And here is our access token. We can just click copy, or copy token. Uh, and now go back to Power Apps and copy and paste that token in and we'll click create. So our app just booted up in Power Apps and as you can see all of our controls and labels and assets had booted up in the app just how we had placed them in Figma. Um, again, I think this is such a powerful tool and I'm very excited to see how people start using this and where Microsoft takes this feature. I know we didn't build too crazy of an app today, just kind of wanted to build something to show the potential here and show the process of going from Figma to Power Apps. Uh, so certainly if you have any questions, please reach out in the comments and I'd be more than happy to answer them. Uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.